This knife is uh, Endura 4 in K390. I've been carrying this knife for a month and I kind of like it because it has a big blade and it's lightweight. The other knife that I like to carry is uh, PM2. PM2, if you compare it to Endura, is slightly smaller than the Endura but in terms of weight this one is 110 gram and this one only 91 gram if you count uh, if you change the clip if you without changing the clip it's 93 gram so if you want more blade length go with the Endura plus Endura is cheap and then this steel is K390 and I love that steel. I've been cutting with this uh, knife, cutting boxes, wood, what else? Uh, box, and then paper. I've been cutting woods just for the sake of testing the edge. Now, I stop it a couple of times uh, and the edge come back, but now I think it's, it's gone. It still, uh, I mean, it still can shave hair at a, few, at a few places, but I think I'm gonna sharpen it. I'm gonna use the 400 Atoma first, and then I will progress in, uh, uh, I mean, using the Vinif stone that I have so without further ado as usual I will mark the edge the reason being I'm using the Atoma first is I noticed if I use the Vinif all the way my my edge will become more convex so that's why I'm trying to eliminate, not trying to eliminate, as much as possible maintain the V edge uh, of the knife. But as I progress, if it become convex, uh, once I use the Vinif, uh, it's okay because uh, the convexity is going to be less. So as usual, Spyderco have this Ricasso and there is some uh, unsharpened portion of it. So I'm going to trim it down with this uh, Toma 40 how I gotta do it uh, basically I just raised the knife slightly higher than the belt than the edge so that it will grind over here and then you can use any diamond plate basically just grinding let me put this down should I use a stone holder? Stone holder is better. For folding knife, I like to use a stone in hand technique because I can get close to the. You see, I lift uh, the knife up a little bit so that the, the castle hit the plunge, I mean the plunge hit, hit the corner of the stone that's why you need the uh, I mean 90 degree angle the, the, the diamond if you're using the stone it won't abrade it or better if you have a 140 the one is a good option also Yeah, I'm hitting it, but not that. If I uh, maybe if I use one forty, it will be faster. But yeah, let's try use the one uh, four hundred. Um, a little bit more.
it's there it's nearly getting there so I'm gonna flip side and then work from side to side so that I know I take an equal amount of steel over here instead of focusing on only one side Some people like to put the, I mean, uh, put the choil, but I don't like to put the choil over there because yeah, it will get in the way of things that I cut box. So just I, it's either I uh, skip skip over it, just let it be choil, or let let the un, uh, un portion uh, unsharpened portion over there, or I sharpen straight to the plunge plunge grind mm, this is one this is more, more pleasing to the eye actually you sharpen straight to the punch okay this one kind of look nice Okay, I think this will do for now, and this side is okay for now. So next is I'm gonna put some water on the stone and try to apex the knife. You can see if using a Atoma even 400 it cut rather fast just like that I apex to the other side never mind I stay at this side so that I know I remove amount of steel okay um, personally my own knife I, will, I mean my folding knife I will sharpen uh, hands uh, freehand sharpen it okay but customer knife I will use a guided I don't want to mess with with other people knife reason being is for me if I use a uh, guided uh, for my own knife I yeah not that I don't like the aesthetic I like the aesthetic but uh, freehand as you all know uh, it introduce some convexity in your 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 edge 
it's not the free hand itself but the operator that that I mean the people who sharpen it uh make it convex a little bit. I don't mind, I embrace the convexity because yeah. For me convexity is good for the edge. For the edge in in the sense that it will give the edge uh, more strength. It will give the edge a strength. I mean now uh this is my beneath this is thing I think is uh, 150. Yeah, this is 150. This side is 150. I will just hit it a couple of times on this. Now, for this, this is my yes, big bottle. I like to use stone in hand just because I already apex it now I just refine it this is how I sharpen my personal life Side, yes, I raise above. I kind of like uh, when I use stone in hand. I gotta hit it a couple of more. Always, uh, I kind of like uh, using stone in hand method because, as you can see, if I use it like this, I can see where the edge contact the stone. So, I like the feeling of in control of where the edge goes. Where I can see the edge, okay. That's one thing, and also, uh, as I was mentioning, give uh, a little bit convex in the edge. Now, this is the 240. Where is 240? 240 is here. Moving on 240. Uh, just a bit where's the bell this uh, I mean at this stage I don't have to actually I don't have to raise a bell but if I raise a bell I just wish side um, side to side and I wish the uh, when I I mean raise a bell this side uh, if I necessarily switch side again I will switch that, take my time like this. I already got an apex with this kind of sharpening. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's all it's removing steel, sharpening uh, in, in the basic, it's removing steel. But this kind of sharpening, the mount steel you remove is pretty minute yeah here a couple of times an extra time
this 240 if you convert into JIS grid it's approximately around 500 600 grit. the abrasive is 50 to 40 micron yeah it's around there it's around that 600 Now moving to the other side, the, the other side is F400 is 20 to 14, 20 to 14 micron is around 1000, 1200, 1200 is where I uh, refine and, and start giving it a polish. I really love K390 for the matter of fact that it's easy to sharpen than Maximet and it's whole an edge better than any steel. I mean, yeah, uh, better than the regular steel. I mean, Tester TV. The just rival 10V or S110V and, and, and Maximet currently and 15V and it's a uh, tough steel compared to Maximet and S110 I think it is the most suitable steel for EDC That one is solely my own opinion. Don't take my word for it. Uh, different people got different needs. So that's why my steel of choice doesn't uh, same as yours. can feel the sharpness is coming up like I said with this uh, F400 I like to take um, extra time just to uh, properly apex and clean the scratch pattern Okay now, 
Now I will be moving to my finishing, uh, my two finishing stone. That is uh, F eight hundred and F one thousand two hundred. Uh, seven to five micron and three to two micron on the thousand two uh, thousand two hundred F two hundred. F1200 Oh my god What happened to my tongue? Tongue twister? <laughs> I love uh, this finish um, K390 It give you the polish that it needs Some people don't like to polish the high carbide steel but yeah Honestly In my opinion K390 take a hell of a polish yeah, Other people maybe have some different opinion Yeah, I just like my knife to be shiny, that's all That's my personal life Personal choice also With this kind, uh, with this hand in stone style of sharpening, I like to keep the burst small. Okay, so you have to be able to feel the burr and constantly check your edge. Okay, sharpness is coming up. pretty clean now yeah. okay uh, let me check uh, there's some scratch pattern high I mean uh, deep scratch pattern before I move into my finishing stone uh, this is the Columbia Gorge stone stone work I'm 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 using this I like this stone I mean Columbia Ghost stonework really uh, excel in removing uh, scratch that's why I'm putting this into the mix this this is five five micron so seven to five on the veneer is uh, same as this one before I move to my finishing that is three to two micron Okay, let's put this aside first. I'm putting uh, this stone in the mix because the ability of this stone to remove scratch. Yeah, pretty clean on this side but still got some scratch but not that deep that's why I like this stone maybe I get another one on this 6 6 by 2 configuration such a convenient stone to have because the way I sharpen 6 by 2 is enough for me 
if Vinif would produce the same uh, I mean same uh, dimension of stone or I will be jumping to get it just because it small compact you can bring it anywhere I like the 8x2 for freehand also but having in a different configuration is it is a user preferences actually yeah it's coming up the sharpness is coming up this is by the way water uh, and soap nothing special in the ingredient <laughs> just the common this soap and at this stage it is not a business of changing angle or not this is just refining your bevel refining your edge Ooh. sharp just really came up this still is a beast man Knowing where the burr will go is also an advantage because if you have a callus calluses on your finger you can't feel the burr. I mean yes you can but as well with a small burr. Yeah, that's why you need to I don't like to say it, intuition but yeah. You know where I mean you can predict where the burr will go. nice clean now I can move it to my finishing stone that is 1200 1200 will be my finishing stone let's move this out of the way and after this I will strop I think I prepare my strop five if dot five six micron three micron and then one micron and by one micron you can already whittle hair if you done your due diligence if your edge is clean you apex you are really apexing the knife you can whittle hair after that What I do is slap the bevel on the stone so that I know the knife is flat, the edge is flat against the stone. Yeah, it's really have to put uh, lubrication on the stone. I mean, water. It help to glide. To glide on the stone very well. This is this is uh, the first sharpening of this knife, the first edge. So 
it can last a few months yeah it's really coming up on a couple of pass this time just to really make sure I clean it. Yes, clean. On this um, final stone, I like to take extra time on it to properly deburr it. And to ensure that the knife take a good polish. Good. Good. Now moving to strap. This is I think is six micron. You must after your finishing stone you must drop. You cannot tell me that you have finished your sharpening with this stone you must drop to make sure on your first drop your edge is clean no more remaining burr if you still have a burr I mean, go back to your stone I mean you have done something wrong over there because you hit a couple of time of uh, I mean on the stone, the burr will surely be weakened already, and this, the strop is just removing it. The first strop is removing the burr. Okay, let's put this one aside. Clean your air, clean your barrel from this. Yeah, first two straw I like to use wood, just because uh, the cleaning. I mean, it is hard. It is hard and edge that coming coming out from using uh, wood is more aggressive than using leather leather have some gift to it there is a place and certain steel I like to use leather but this uh, high vanadium steel I like to use this wood I can feel it. Oh man. Now I'm 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 just experiment experimenting with this. I used this before. Uh ginger, nano cloth. Uh, 
I got mixed result that's why I, I'm experimenting with this one again this one is loaded with one micron gunny juice I know gunny juice gunny product leave a good polish on uh, edge As you uh, all know, uh, the nano cloth have some gift to it, so I really don't press too much, as I'm uh, doing with balsa or, or, or basswood. I just lightly touch, touching the edge with this nano cloth and stop with it basically i can feel the edges clean from burr and yeah it's 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 feel like sticking you know let me find a hair let me test it again a hair and then i'll just stop recording It's hard to find here. Where is it? Hold on. I just want the recording by then. I don't care. This is a short piece of hair of mine. Okay, can you guys see it? Oh, this one is better. Okay, off the stone and the drop. Take one. <laughs> Jumping, yeah, there you go. My full sharpening from stone to strop to hair whittling, although it's not consistent, but I can feel the, uh, the edge is grabbing the hair. There you go. Okay guys, do a little signing out.